Hey guys, Thunder here, and I am back with the ISCC Racing Network to bring you live flag-to-flag -flag coverage of the ISCC and Zomniac Elite Series. Tonight, we are here at a new track. We're here in Texas at the uh, recently constructed Austin Speed Bowl here in Austin, Texas. Uh, when the, yeah, when, when uh, it was said we were going to be heading to Austin, a lot of people thought we were going to be heading to the Circuit of the Americas, but no, we're heading to this newly built short track here for a double header. Yeah, that's right. We're here for our first double header of the season, and unlike last season, they're going to be going a by really quickly. All the short tracks are fairly close to each other, and in the beginning of the season, and in, in the beginning of the season, because Grand Detour is not back. And well, not back in the IS, it is in the Junior Series this season. But we'll be done with short tracks after round seven. Yeah, we need more short tracks. <sighs> anyway, let's get down to. Uh, anyway, we're we'll getting down to the track here in a minute. Um, for for this, I'm just going ahead and be giving you the starting lineup for both races, and uh, they will be in order. So the first one will be race one, second will be race two. Yeah, I still can't believe Alex Perkle's on the pole. Real quick before we start, I am sick right now, so if I start getting voice cracks or something, well, or I just don't sound right, there you go. But anyway, we're green! We're rocking at Texas! And right away, Perkle did not have the best start. The Baby Tribe car underpowered, but he's got the preferred line, and he will hold the lead right now. There we go. You can see how quickly they're flying for the corners here. And... They got so much grip. But there you go, Connor Alice taking the lead, Carl Sater behind him, and if this season's go And if, uh, if uh, this goes how this season's gone for him, he'll probably blow up. Seth Cole tries to move in the third, but no, he's got challenge from Ryder Smith, last week's winner. Tyler Faber coming up to the inside line, that's Smith's teammate. Faber's had a very, uh, very unlucky career, to say the least. Perkle's falling back, Atwood continues the lead. Atwood has not won a race in quite some time. His last win coming at Savannah in Season 1, that was his only win to date. Sanders previous, most recent win is also in Season 1, uh, I think that was in Germany. But Sanders still running behind the 29, looking to make a pass. Chris Louvier has passed Alex Hawkins for 4th. Louvier has been very quick. He's been very quick lately. Sanders looking again. Faber catching these two. Sanders really wanting to get the pass done, but he just can't find it. Oh, he's found an opening now, though. And he's again underneath, and it looks like he will take the lead of the race. So car number three moves up. Tyler Faber takes advantage. He moves up the second. And now he's looking for the lead. Can't make it happen. But yeah, as I was going to say, aside from Arkansas, it seems Chris Louvier has been very fast pretty much everywhere, as Faber takes the lead now. Yeah. I want, I want Louvier to be a title contender this, this year. He's never really been, uh, and he's never really been a championship form driver, but, um, perhaps this season will be the one that Louvier actually cements himself as a title contender. Actually cements himself as a title contender. But look at Alwyn and Faber battling right now. They just keep swapping the lead at the, they keep swapping the lead and they just won't stop. Oh, they're gonna stop now. Sanders gonna take second. But will the, will the lead swapping stop? I don't know. No, it's not! Sanders going for the lead now. And Louvier is, is looking to try and find a line. And he blocks Smith! Smith's looking! Smith gets it at a 98! Louvier holds it together! Man, if Smith turned a 98, um, yeah. As if he wasn't already unpopular enough. 
So Louvier now behind the free. He's got he has the third fastest lap of the race so far. And he is right there, favor passes his teammate. Trying to get back up to the front here. Reese Black finally showing some pace. I knew he was gonna show a lot more speed here. And then we got PJ Williams back here on ninth. This is probably Williams' best chance to win a race. This is also his home race, since he is from Texas. Uh, he is of Jamaica he is of Jamaican descent, but he is a Texan. Will Hoyt up in the top 10, both McLaren's in 11, 10th and 11th right now. Seth Cole a little behind. Points to their Nick Pericles in 14th. He's been pretty invincible this season, but it looks like this might be his first sign of weakness. As I said, the first three tracks were really good, or just really good tracks for him and for Manson. But um, this track is... So, these other tracks are going to determine if Pericles is going to really be a title contender. Nova also back here. He's not generally a short tracker, but he has won on a short track before. Oh, dear. Wow, um... Yeah, since Arkansas, Valzak's done absolutely nothing. He's got no pace here either. Moving on. It's worth mentioning that, uh... It is worth mentioning that only the top 20... Since the top 20 score points, only one car is going to be uh, missing points in both races. At the moment, it'll be Gall Redlick out of points. So it's a lot of teams, it's a good opportunity for a lot of teams to get their first points of the season. Luger is, is taking the lead now. And just see how long he can hold on to that. Alex Perkle holding on pretty strong right now. He got the pull, fell back a little, but he's still in the top 10. So, great drive by Alex Perkle. Uh, he's, he's been, he scored points at Las Vegas, and he's having a pretty good day here. Uh, with that, with that pole, he will be a next season shootout as well. So, two shootout appearances in a row for Alex Perkle and the Baby Tribe. Heading on to lap number 32 here. Luvier still leading this race. Now, got Ryan Smith looking down back there. And his teammate Faber looking up here. Got a battle for the lead. As Ryder Smith also looking towards the front, and it looks like Smith may be on another one of those big runs. Like he was at Vegas. Faber has the fastest lap of the race right now. Faber having an incredible run at this point right now. I wonder, could Faber win this race? He's had a real he's had an awful career of luck er, just no luck at all, but I do wonder if he could maybe pull off this pull off a victory. Oh yeah, Smith's caught these two. He's on a roll right now. Atwood's looking behind his teammate Sander, but Sander, he's got the experience. He's good at blocking. As we're coming upon some lap traffic here, that's Redlick and Washer. Both of them have been dreadfully slow this season. Atwood finally passes Sander for fourth. Good day so far for Manson. Um, except for Pericles, who's Pericles anyway. He is up to 12. Nova's in 13. Nelson's falling back. Dylan hmm. Young's struggling. This has not been an ideal season for Young so far, but we'll see. We'll see what, uh, if he can uh, turn things around. Hasn't won since season one. Yeah, he's another one of those guys. Good morning, how many times can I say one in a sentence? <laughs> oh, here is the lap traffic here. That's Gall, right look in the 66. These two haven't passed each other this whole race. And here we go, lap traffic. This is gonna be crucial for this race. And, well, Fredlick held him up a little, but not too bad, but Louvier still got a great run off. Can't make a pass yet. He's getting very close to 11. Oh, Faber goes up a little. I wouldn't do that. 
I would block the bottom like your life depends on it. Luvier, a very aggressive driver. Faber, fairly aggressive as well. Both these two known for aggression. Especially Luvier, though. And he is looking. He's going to try and make the pass here. As Washer is going to be a nuisance in the background, looks like. Luvier takes the lead. Ryder Smith trying to take third. This could be a great point today for Smith. And it looks like Faber is just going to stay behind him for now, try to close back in. Approaching 20 laps to go here. Faber's starting to get really close to the 98's back bumper. I think he's getting ready to make a move. These are the two fastest cars on the racetrack. Uh, he hasn't made one yet, but we got some lap traffic. Got David Valzak, Dylan Young, Jason Perkle, and, and Jacques De Cook. He's getting really close. There he goes. Faber goes for the lead. And he's going to take it. And I know Seth Cole has entered the top 10 now. He's starting to make his way forward. Seth Cole, last season's runner-up. Try and get some good points out of this one. Pericles is in 13th, I think. And Nova is right behind him. Oh, Luvier, he's not going to give up. He's not going to give up. All right, they come to the 99 of Valzak. And, oh, Valzak almost cuts off the 11. Oops. I think that was a mistake. I think that was more of a mistake on Valzak's part. I don't think he meant to do that, but still. Got under 20 laps to go now. Faber, this could be the biggest night of his career. Oh, free wide! Free wide between him and the lap cars there. I think he made a little contact to Perkle. Luvier having a better time with the traffic. And he's right on the 11th back bumper now. They come to Dick Cook. Approaching 10 to go now. Look how close he is to the 11th back bumper. There he goes. Luvier going for the lead now. And if this track is has tracks has race gone in any indication, he'll get it, and he does. But will Dick Cook be a good back marker? That's actually pretty pretty much up the question. It looks like he will actually. That's a shock. Oh Faber though, being a little aggressive. He's catching right back up to the 98. And there he goes! Faber takes the lead back! He is not gonna give this one up! He's not gonna give it up without a fight! Ten laps to go! Faber, he is so close he can taste it! Tyler Faber could potentially be looking at his first IES victory! Luvier, though, Luvier, he really wants to win after finishing second last week, getting pretty much mugged by Smith. He pretty much earned that victory, but he got a bit before he got mugged by Smith, so, yeah, he's definitely not going to, he definitely does not want to finish runner-up again, but, but if he does, it'll be a great point today for, for the Dogeman, the Dogeman. But I think Faber might be able to win this here. 
That's been the strongest car all night. Got some lap traffic up ahead. I don't know if there'll be a factor. Heracles falls back a little. Five to go. Four to go when we cross the stripe here. And Luvier getting very close to the 11th back bumper now. He's getting closer. He is getting close. Three to go! We are giving it everything he's got! Faber is gonna block him at all costs though! Here we go! He's getting very close to the 11th back bumper now with two to go! Faber is so close he can practically taste it! This is big shot right here! White flag in the air! Four more corners to go! He's right there! But I don't think he's gonna do it! No! Off the final corner! We got a big ups on our hands! Faber wins the race! Tyler Faber has taken the win here in Texas! Race number one! And this is the this is probably the greatest night of that young man's career! Tyler Faber, he struggled with bad luck his whole career basically. Well well, all of his rookie year last season. But, um, yeah, Tyler Faber takes the win out here in Texas. Wow, that was a pretty, that was a pretty solid finish there. And I may have squeaked a little, as I said, I'm sick. <laughs> but, but that still got me pretty excited there. Congratulations to Tyler Faber. Second is Louvier. Bridesmaid again, but a good point stay nonetheless. Carl Sander gets his, finally gets his first points of the season in spectacular fashion off a third in car number three. Fourth is Ryder Smith. Uh, okay. Fifth is Connor Atwood. Sixth is Reese Black. Finally. Seventh is Seth Cole. Good for him. Eighth, Alex Perkle. Great drive by him. Ninth is PJ Williams. I bet he was looking for more. And Alex Hawkins rounds out the top ten. And here is the rest of your results, and then we'll head right on to race number two. That was the engines firing here for race number two. Lewis Duran showing off sh some of his short track prowess, taking out his first pull in the IES. We'll see if he can pull off a win. We'll see. He's in a pretty underpowered car, but short tracks don't necessarily need that power as we're green for race number two. Good start by Duran. Short, the short tracks are where he thrives, and he is off to a great start right now. Oh, free wide! Free wide right... Got free wide! That might not end well! Didn't have a caution in the first race. Will we see one here in the second? I don't know. Brandon Wood in second right now. Jordan Davis, he's up to third. He's getting looked on by Angel. Oh! Oh, God! We got a wreck! We've got a wreck. Sanford and Maxwell Chan have gone around here. We're gonna take a replay here and see what happened between those two. This is a. Uh, we're gonna see here. It looks like Chan gets a little on the Sanford. They go down on the Matt Duncan. Back up the track. Sanford tries to save it, but can't quite do it. Not enough space, and up into the wall he goes. Chan didn't get a whole lot of damage, but he did get a little on the right side. We'll have to see if see if they get affected by their damage here. Here we go. Gonna restart here on lap number nine. By the way, why the fuck is Voils in temp? That's a shock. Anyway, we're back to green. Brandon Wood got a great jump! And he is gonna pass Lewis Duran just like that. And Jordan Davis takes advantage to take second. 
That's all dirt. Oh, that's all during one at all. If you get past, it's very easy for you to get freight trains here. That is not what during one at all. Angel moves in the third. Davis takes the lead now. Davis trying to. Oh wow! Con contact between Cavagnaro and Shelly. Ironically, that's Shelly's Shelly's car. That's Shelly's car from season one. Had a big crash in that. Had a big crash in that car. Now Shelly goes for the lead. Uh, I must say, like, instead of revenging, Shelly is. While Reese Black's supposed to be the lead driver, I'd really say Shelly has been the number one driver in Dodge Motorsports so far this season. Shelly's. I think he's the only one of them that's been in the top ten before this. Like, up to uh, before this. Uh, before this. Uh, before this uh, before this round, I'm pretty sure Shelly was the only one of them who had even been in the top 10. So Shelly being the lead driver at Dodge Motorsports, having another solid run here. Matt Duncan's moving up to the front. Ugh, dang it. Matt Duncan moving up to the front here. He is, he's a short tracker. Short tracks are his specialty. So, he, I'm not really surprised. Kevin Naro also a short tracker. Duran's caught back up. He's right behind Davis. Uh, sorry about that. Davis takes second. And Duran now up to third. Matt Duncan getting ready. He's saying some good laps here and he may try to start pulling away, but I don't know. Davis saying some good laps as well. Matt Duncan is holding a. Uh, is he catching up? Yeah, he's catching up, but we'll see if he does. If he keeps on doing that. That damage has affected Sanford. He's in 21st. Yep, that's Sanford's career in a nutshell. Although someone who was dam. Although someone who wasn't affected by the damage is this guy right here, Maxwell Chan. In fact, if anything, I think that damage made him faster. Also, Ryan Acosta is the fastest lap of the race. He just said it too. So Ryan Acosta actually having some pace for once this season. He may be looking at a good run here. And someone I, notable I noticed in the back there was Silver Fox. Silver Fox really struggling here. And yeah, that's probably not what he wanted. Comes in this race second in points. Could have capitalized on Pericles here, but it doesn't look like he's able to do it. With this pass on Lewis Duran here. Maxwell Chan has entered the top five. Chan has really been on a serious pace. He's definitely been on some serious pace lately. He's been on a serious pace here. And and as I said, he's prob I think that damage probably made him faster. He just set the fastest lap of the race. Chan is really on the move right now. I this guy is going I knew he was gonna be a title contender hanging in this season, and he is finally showing that championship contender pace. He's probably been the lead, the fastest, the best of the wrecking ball so far this season. Which is shocking since Nova normally dominates, but he's... I'd say he's actually been the worst of the team so far. But um, that's probably subject to change because, I mean, yeah, we haven't gone to a road course yet. But, yeah, Chan, he is on... Uh, he is on a mission to win his ra win this race. Try to get his third win. Uh, try to get the third win of his career. He's taking fourth. He's going to try and make a move on Acosta here. And there we go, he's up to third now. He, he is... Oh, Acosta is still fighting him. Now he's up to third, and he is on a mission. Here on lap number 36, Chan has caught the 18 of Alan Cavagnaro. I would, I would expect him to make a move very shortly here. He's got, he's definitely got the superior car. I mean, Cavagnaro's got a good car, but Chan's is something else. I mean, for crying out loud, I swear that damage has made him faster. I bet Sanford was wishing for that. But anyway, he is he is looking. He hasn't made the move yet. He might make it here. I think they, they might have touched there. A little bit of a bump and run, but Chan takes second. And he's gonna get ready to try and chase down Matt Duncan here in the six. And you lap number 43. We're getting ready to look, catch the lap car of Charles Sanford, and he's Really, there's not a whole lot of cars that are off the pace here. Not a whole lot of cars that are off the pace here. 
Sanford's really the only one. So this race is a lot more competitive at the back of the field than the last one. But as they catch Sanford, I noticed that I noticed that Chan is starting to catch the six. So he might make the move before this is over. Well, he probably will. As I said, that's the fastest car on the racetrack by far. Yeah, he's definitely closing in. Plus, I think Duncan's car is starting to... Starting to fall off a little. 24 gets put a lap down. Yeah, I think the 6 is starting to fall off a little. He's been pushing the tires. Chan, he's really on a roll, though. He's caught the 6 now. Approaching 20 to go. Approaching 25 to go. And he is right on his back bumper. Gonna try and make the move. Can he, can he make it here? He's looking. He's looking. And uh, Duncan's not giving it up yet. And he's got it. Maxwell Chan takes the lead of the race. And and, if the, and by the way his car is running is in the indication, I think he might be able to break away here as we just hit 25 to go. Got to be on 15 to go here. They have caught more lap traffic at the 87 of Boyles. Um, Boyles is actually going to get a point. Uh, so I guess he's on negative 14 now. Um, I think Polyakov is that team's good hope. Great hope to get them back into the positives. There we go. Boyle's been put a lap down. And now for Jeffrey Finguy. Yeah, this has not been a good season for Finguy so far, but. However, uh, there is a road course coming up next week, so you can definitely get excited for that. But now, but right now, he might want to move over for his fellow Dodge driver, Maxwell Chan. I do believe the Wrecking Balls and Dodge Motorsports having a technical alliance for this season. So, we'll see how that works out. Dodge Motorsports have been really struggling, though. Finn Guy gets put a lap down, and Chan is going to continue to lead here. Chan lapped the 21 of Amati here, got five laps to go. Not much has been happening in the late part of this race. Chan just completely pulled away. Theodore now gets put a lap down. That car has just not been very good. That's n the TRU has been really struggling this season. I wonder if they're more down on funding than we thought. Because those cars have been struggling miserably. Oh! Contact between Duncan and Amadi. No wreck, but that was a bit close for comfort. Uh, here we go. Gonna lap Silver Fox now. Again, not an ideal race for him. Two to go now. And that contact pretty much gave Chan the win there. There is no way in heck something Chan's gonna lose this race unless something crazy happens. The white flag, I do believe, just went in the air. And yet, there we go, off the final corner, Maxwell Chan will take his third career win here in Texas. In dominating fashion, a great a great drive by the Californian. Third win of his career, first of the season. And, um, that's going to be very good for him in the championship. Chan's been the best of the Wrecking Ball so far this season. Don't know what Silver Fox is doing there. <laughs> Does he like Russian ass? I don't know. <laughs> but, um, yeah, good, good day for him. Second is going to be Alan Cavagnaro. Third, Matt Duncan. The car really fell off there in the end. Fourth, Ryan Acosta. Great day for him. Ditto for Jordan Davis, who finishes in fifth. Sean Angel follows up his great run in Vegas with a sixth here. Sim is James Shelley, another top 10 for Dodge Motorsports. Good job for him. Eighth is Lewis Durin. Uh, yeah, good drive by him. Ninth is Mason Powers. He was really, you know, he was kind of struggling early in the going, but I guess he had a good run here. And DJ Curtis will round out the top 10. All right. Well, certainly a very interesting two races here in Texas. One surprise winner and one winner that comes as no surprise. Tyler Faber being the shock and Chan being the expected. So, anyway, 
We're going to have a much more have a much more wild race next week, though, as the IAS will make a trip to the Willow Springs Raceway for a very exciting race. Chan will probably be one of the people looking forward to that. That is going to be that is one of his home tracks. Y yes, home tracks because he's also got Fontana. But anyway, there's uh, yeah, two tracks in California. But anyway, that'll be it for t for today. Uh, here comes race two's results and the standings. You've been watching a production of the ISCC Racing Network. I'm signing off, and I'll see you next time.